The focus of this lecture is angiotensin II receptor blockers, ARBs. Also working on RAS, ARBs share similar effects as ACE inhibitors. I wish to reach the following objectives after this lecture. Angiotensin II receptor blockers, also known as ARBs, work directly on RAS, just like ACE inhibitors. Resulting from the effects of ARBs are dropped blood pressure and decreased cardiac workloads. ARBs belong to the family of antihypertensive category, and their names end with Sartan. Let's review how RAS works to regulate blood pressure. Under normal circumstances, liver produces and releases angiotensinogen, which travels in the blood and transforms into angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 converts to angiotensin 2 under the catalysis by angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE. Angiotensin 2 is a much stronger vasoconstrictor. In addition to causing vasoconstriction, it also stimulates the sequence of adrenal renal responses. The results are increasing blood pressure as well as increasing preload and afterload. ARBs compete with angiotensin 2 to bind on the receptors at the target cells. It antagonizes the type 1 receptors for angiotensin 2. Type 1 receptors of angiotensin 2 are mostly found on smooth muscles in blood vessels and organs like uterus, bladder, and kidneys. These receptors can also be found in endocrine glands as well as presynaptic nerve terminals. Because ARBs bind on where angiotensin 2 targets, their blocking effects comparing to ACE inhibitors would be more comprehensive. Resulting from this rather full blockage is vasodilation, which decreases the cardiac afterload. In addition, the adrenal renal path is also affected by ARBs, resulting in decreased cardiac preload. Let's have a quick comparison between ARBs and ACE inhibitors. Both groups of medications work directly on the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, RAS, and both drop blood pressure and decrease preload and afterload. ACE inhibitors interfere the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 by inhibiting the angiotensin converting enzyme, ACE. Hindering effects of ACE does not mean a total blockage of the effects of angiotensin 2 because there are other pathways allowing angiotensin 1 to convert to angiotensin 2. On the other hand, angiotensin receptor blockers are more effective in blocking the effects of angiotensin 2 because medications in this group bind to the receptors on the target cells. ACE inhibitors also inhibit kinase, therefore leading to the adverse effect of coughing. ARBs do not interfere with the effect of kinase. Lastly, in clinical usage, ARBs are usually prescribed to substitute ACE inhibitors for patients who could not tolerate ACE inhibitors. ARBs belong to the category of antihypertensive medications. Their therapeutic mechanism warrants the usage on patients with hypertension and heart failure. Clinically, ARBs are often prescribed when the patients do not tolerate the adverse effects caused by ACE inhibitors. As far as the adverse effects go, ARBs share very similar adverse effects as ACE inhibitors, but I would highlight the differences here. Angioedema and cough are rarely associated with the usage of ARBs. Also, patients using ARBs might experience back pain. Patient education is always vital for those who take medications for chronic conditions at home. The first adverse effect of ARBs is changing blood pressure. Monitoring blood pressure and heart rate becomes essential. Patient education should include signs and symptoms as well as management of adverse effects. Hypotension is a common adverse effect, especially first-dose hypotension. 
Explain to the patients that this adverse effect usually disappears after a few days into therapy. To help preventing orthostatic hypotension, change position slowly from lying to sitting. Then remain sitting for two to three minutes or until lightheadedness subsides before standing up. Also, patients should slowly change position from sitting to standing. Then remain standing for another two to three minutes or wait till lightheadedness is gone before start walking. You see, our blood pressure usually adapt to position changes within two to three minutes. Teach the patients on preventing hyperkalemia by not using salt substitute unless consulted with a physician or with a physician's order. Also, a low potassium diet is reinforced. Common remedy for GI irritation like heartburn is frequent meals that are small in portion. Encourage the client to follow up with physician. Teach the client to report to the physician if experiencing any adverse effect. Monitoring CBC and BMP helps checking the status of cardio and renal functions. Patients should be taught to call 911 if experiencing chest pain, shortness of breath, and difficulty breathing. These are symptoms for angioedema and severe cardiac problem. The contraindications is about the same as that of AC inhibitors. ARBs also can cause defect in developing fetus. Therefore, it is contraindicated during pregnancy. In addition, it is unknown if ARBs are excreted into breast milk. Therefore, breastfeeding is contraindicated for patients who use ARBs. Another contraindication for ARBs is bilateral renal artery stenosis. Nursing care tailoring to contraindications should include teaching on reporting to the physician when suspect pregnancy. This medication need to be stopped and new medication should be administered to manage hypertension. Consulting physician for a new prescription if choose to breastfeed. Discontinuing ARBs abruptly without medical management is not advised. There are not much drug-to-drug -drug interactions with ARBs comparing to other medications. Combining ARBs with antihypertensive medications that work on RAS is not appropriate. When using together, the patient will be put at higher risk for developing hyperkalemia, renal impairment, and severe hypotension. When used together, ARBs might increase serum lithium level leading to lithium toxicity. Both rifampin and fluconazole could decrease the effects of losartan. Rifampin reduces blood level of losartan, and fluconazole hinders the conversion of losartan to its active form. Simetidine can increase effects of ARBs. Potassium-sparing diuretics and potassium supplement will increase the risk for hyperkalemia. The major drug-to-food interaction with ARBs is the salt substitute containing potassium, which puts the client at increasing risk for hyperkalemia. Ma Huang Ephedra Sinica is a Chinese herb often seen in formula for treating asthma and common cold. It is also commonly used for weight loss. Ephedra Sinica can induce perspiration and increase heart rate and blood pressure. Therefore, it can decrease the antihypertensive effect of ARBs. Nursing care for preventing interactions when using ARBs includes thorough medication history intake. It is recommended to make a complete list of medications that patients are currently using. On the medication list, indicate the names of the medications, the dosages, the routes, the frequencies, and the last time medications were administered. This list is going to be handy when following up with a physician. Although comparing to ACE inhibitors, ARBs are less likely to cause hyperkalemia, patients using ARBs should still be advised not to use salt substitute unless consulted with the physician. We have discussed most nursing implications throughout this lecture. Here are a couple more tips. 
Teach the patient that antihypertensive effect is usually evident after using ARBs for a week. The full antihypertensive effect is achieved over three to six weeks into therapy. Determination of adding diuretics or decision on adjusting dosage of ARBs should be made three to six weeks into therapy. Like ACE inhibitors, ARBs are also commonly prescribed together with diuretics. Monitoring adverse effects by monitoring blood pressure, cardiovascular function, and renal status. All ARBs are dosed once per day, except for valsartan, which may be used twice a day. Candesartan becomes active during the process of GI absorption. Its full antihypertensive effect takes up to weeks. Losartan needs to be metabolized to its effective form, and also losartan is the prototype of ARBs. Valsartan is available in single substance or in combination with other substance. Thank you for spending time with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.